Okay, so I guess it's time to it's time to start the real uh, game here. Are the teams segregated on a side? You're all mixed up. That's good. That's good. All right. Okay, so our second annual soccer match for CSE 466, uh, Software for Embedded Systems. And uh, as you can see, we have a soccer field up on the screen here. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a ball, however, so the players score by going through the goal. They score one point when they go through the goal. We do have the ability for players on the same team to merge together into a larger player, which then scores proportionally when it goes through the goal. Um, of course, uh, you'll also notice later, while we're running the game, some players will have a white ring around them that says that they don't want to merge. They want to stay independent. And so they have that ability to turn off that merging uh, cap capability. Also, when two players from opposing teams hit each other, they'll pop to random locations back on their side of the field. So that's how you defend. You try to run into another player who's heading towards your goal and force him to have to pop to their end of the field again and, and make a new run at the goal. Right? So that's the, that's the idea behind the game. And uh, the controllers that uh, people are using to run this game is there's 20 different players, 20 different controllers. Each student in the class has one. Most of them running their own code, right? And uh, the controller is basically uh, that, they're, that they're all holding has a, a little uh, processor board that's based on an Xscale processor that was donated by Intel. Uh, and we, uh, that has a radio on it, a 802.15.4 radio that sends packets to the game master that's running on the Mac here. Okay, and that's how the game is coordinated. Uh, the sensor that actually moves the player around and allows them to control the player is a special sensor that they built that uses uh, electric fields uh, to, to figure out the position of your finger over a set of electrodes without touching them, just hovering over them. And uh, we call it the air joystick to kind of give you a sense for what we mean by that kind of control. And so that's how they uh, determine an X, Y direction for the player. And, uh, and then the position of the finger uh, closer or further from the sensor gives an intensity, a speed uh, to the player. And uh, the reason we tried this sensor this year is because we had the fortunate uh, occurrence of having Josh Smith co-teach the class with me. Uh, Josh is at Intel Research Seattle, and uh, he introduced this, the concepts that made this sensor possible and taught that portion of the class, and uh, that's why we were able to do this this year. If you remember last year, we did it with accelerometers, uh, but we thought we would try something a little bit more interesting with a little bit more processing involved in getting this to work. There's actually a CDMA implementation uh, that allows those, uh, those four directions uh, sensors to work and figure out the uh, direction of the, of the, the position of the finger and the direction of the player. All right, so uh, we're gonna play two 15 minute halves, like a, a short soccer game, sort of the, the little league of soccer. And uh, we'll take a quick break at halftime to let people adjust strategy. Uh, we've broken up this class into two teams, the red and blue. And uh, what you're seeing here on the right is a table that shows each of the players and their scoring and also how many dropped and late packets they have, as well as any extra packets they might have sent. So we also get to see how good their implementation is, all right, how much it follows the protocol that we established. All right, so without further ado, we'll get the game started and uh, enjoy the match. All right, Brian. All right, everybody ready? Go. Blue just scored twice. What? What's 12 doing? I can't respond There we go. There's 12. Defend. There you go. <laughs> Red's recalibrating. All right. Wait, wait, wait. 14's making a move. Seven. Let's go. Right. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's go. Five. Come on, just score there. Score already. Gonna try to tie it in one move. All right, now we're starting to see some dodge in there. All right, Red's been defending a lot better, but there's no attack on the red side. Oh. 
14. Get on the board. Go. Oh, no, who's that? Yeah, 14, all right. Red scores. All right, 17, good job. 19, it'd be nice if you moved. Oh, but it worked anyway, a good tactic. Oh, 16 popped in there right at the right time. Oh, oh yes, he got him. No, he went in, he went in. Oh, eight is drifting in. Come on, 12, 12. Oh, got it, got it. No! I took you, you're so slow. Oh, man. Who's number six on blue? Wow, you're late a lot. <laughs> But but the lateness wins oh. by number fourteen on red. Yeah. Who's on blue? So we have seven people on blue and red. Wow. How many are actually moving? So we got about the same number. Why is it not moving? Because some people just got here. Recalibrate. <laughs> 